So children, now I have a different pattern of questions with the same number name games. Okay. So here is my next question. My next question says, how can the number 515 be written? Okay, so how can we write the number 515? That is my question. And my options are 5, 100, 50. The second option is 5, 100, 51. My third option is 5, 100, 15 and my last option is all of these. Okay. So, one number name cannot have all the options. So, my option D is ruled out. Okay. Coming to the first option, it says 550. How will you write 550? It is 5, 5, 0. And this does not match with the question that is being asked. Okay. The next one says 551. How will you write it? It is 5, 5, 1. Again, the question that is given and the answer which I have got have no sync. Okay. Coming to the third option, it is 515, which is nothing but 5, 1, 5. So, is it telling with the question? Yes. So, the number 515 can be written as 515. So, option C is my right answer. Children, shall we move to the next one? Okay, here comes your question. How can the number 110 be written? Okay, so how will you write the number 110? The number name form. Clear? So now I will be giving you the options and you need to choose the right option. Are you ready? Here we go. So the first option says 100. The second option says 101. My third option says Both A and B. And my last option says 110. Okay, children. So my first option is 100. How will you write 100? It's 1, 0, 0. And that is not my right answer. How about the second one? It says 101. How will you write it? 1, 0, 1. Is that the question that is being asked for? No. Third option says both A and B. Which means that what the question they are trying to ask is option A and option B both can be correct for this answer. Is it so? Can these two be written as the answer for this? No. There is no such a possibility. So, my option C is also ruled out. What about the fourth one? It says 110. How will you write it? It is 1, 1, 0. Is it the right answer? Just see the board and say me. Yes, you got it correct. So, option D, 110 is the right answer 
for the question that is being asked. Clear? Can we move to the next question? Okay, here we go. How can the number 101 be written? Okay, so the earlier question was asking how will you write 110 and my this question is asking how will you write 101? Okay, and my options are 100. My second option is 101. My third option is 110. And my last option is all of these. All of these will not be the right answer. So we will overrule this. Coming to the first one, it's 100. How will you write 100? You will write as 1, 0, 0. And that is not my answer. The next one says 110. And I will write 110 as 1, 1, 0. So is it matching with the question that is being asked? No, it's asking 1, 0, 1. Where have, I have got the answer 1, 1, 0. So this answer is also not correct. What about the next one? It says 101, which is 1, 0, 1. Is it matching? Yes. So option B is my right answer. Okay, children. So here is your last question of this pattern. Okay. And my question says, how can you write... Five zero one in the number name form. Okay, and my options are first one says five hundred. My second option says five hundred. One. My third option says five hundred ten. And my fourth option says none of these. Okay. So my first option is five hundred. How will you write five hundred? You will write it as five zero zero. That is not my answer. The second one says 501. How will you write it? 501. 501. And is that the question that is being asked for? Yes. So my correct answer is option B which is 501. So children are pretty clear with this pattern of questions. I am sure you would have enjoyed doing such sums, right? <laughs>